today I have two sewing makes, two new sewing makes, and then I have one sewing make that I have shown before. So let's get started. So the first sewing make that I want to share with you is McCall 7900, and I made you a, and this is just like a really little kind of top, and it, I used some scraps in the inside. Can you all see? Okay. Trying to see if I'm in the camera. Okay. So I used some scraps on the inside. I also used some scraps to create the little flutter look around the sleeves. And I did use some denim that I had left over. And the problem that I had with this top is that I followed the guide in the pattern for how to lay out the buttons. And when it was all said and done, I feel like the buttons were a little bit too far over or the holes are a little bit too far over to the right hand side. So it kind of pulls a little bit. And then the fact that it's denim doesn't help because the fabric is really stiff. But um, it's okay, I, I will wear it. I do have the option of wearing it open so I can do it like a vest look. But I really wasn't exactly or completely satisfied with the end result. Um, nothing wrong with the pattern, just the way that um, I thought it looked once it was all said and done. But I will go ahead and show you what this looks like on. So I forgot to mention some of the features that it has. Um, not that many. It does have darts in the front and then there are a few darts in the back also. And then the buttons down the front and I just use the white threading for the buttons just to kind of make it have a little different look. Yeah, so that is my first make. The next make that I have is a dress. Um, I wrote it down. What is this? McCall 7742. Now I love this dress. It fits oversized and it has a little v-neck in the front. I bought this fabric from Hobby Lobby. It does have ribbon in the sleeves so it gives a little gathered look. I almost didn't put the uh, ribbon in the sleeve because I didn't think that I would like that but it's okay. It looks cute I think. And the back is, um, you know, like the standard back, no V neck or anything. And um, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but the pattern does have stripes in it. Also, the pattern called for a scalloped edged type uh, fabric at the bottom for the hem, but I just chose not to put that in. So um, yeah, it does have pockets also, which I love. And yes, so I will show you what this dress looks like on. So I forgot to mention in the first clip that the shirt that I'm wearing in that clip is New Look 6407 and I made that shirt this year but the pattern is an older pattern so I just thought that I would use the remaining scraps that I had left over to create these sleeves and then I was able to put the top on top of the shirt to give it a different look so yeah that's that and um, yeah so those are the two or three makes that I have to show you today. And my love share for today has to do with a, um, a new sauce that is coming out that you can put on your food. So if you like, I'm trying to think what it is, ranch and ketchup. If you like ranch and ketchup together, you will be happy to know that they are getting married. <laughs> 
They're becoming one product being put out by Heinz and it's going to be called Crunch, K-R-A-N-C-H. It may already be out in your stores. If not, you know, it probably will be coming very soon. But I wanted to share that with you and I will put a picture up so you can see what that looks like and keep an eye out for it if that's something that you like or that you want to try. So thank you so very much for watching and I will see you next time.